Well, this is one little variant for a motor drive for the uh, column or the Z drive on a small bench top uh, mill drill. I opted for the PM25 and I bought a uh, factory installed DRO because I didn't want to have to get into the uh, drilling and the tapping for uh, installing the glass slides on the column and the table. I also didn't know whether I would sell this and get a larger mill so I didn't want to make any modifications to the column or the uh, table. Uh, this motor drive is essentially two pieces of angle iron that are sort of bolted together at the top to hold the motor. The left-handed uh, piece of angle iron was drilled and tapped for existing holes on the column and for the column crank handle that came out. I just simply removed the crank handle, made an arbor and installed this uh, gear on the top. The lower gear is uh, directed from the, uh, the motor. The uh, motor in this case is a 12 volt uh, automobile wiper motor. The power supply is a 12 volt uh, 30 amp unit. The gears are uh, Briggs and Stratton starter lawnmower gears. They're available for about a buck or two each. And I control it with a little uh, plastic electric box down on the base. The box has an on off switch and a double pole, double throw momentary. If I want to raise the column, I simply uh, push the up switch. It goes up. It's not super fast, but it's fast enough for me. It goes down a little faster, but it works fine. And the reason for using the angle iron was that if this motor wasn't strong enough, I could simply change the uh, right-handed side piece of angle iron and drill it for a bigger motor and install something else. It worked quite well, so I've been very happy with this. I've uh, posted the components down below. They're all readily available online. And I was working with a fellow on one of the forums, so I also posted a couple of the construction videos on how to uh, install the, uh, the angle iron. <clears throat> when I was finished, I simply made a piece of metal that covers up, goes up top, covers it up and keeps uh, stuff out of the gears when the mill is running. I also found that there's this uh, Rust-Oleum high-performance enamel. It's a color of uh, safety blue number 7524. It works quite well. You really can't tell it from the factory color. And if it gets a little dust and grease, it looks uh, identical. Again, well, the advantage of this little plastic box is that I can turn the switch off, push it out of the way, and I don't bump it, and I don't have to reach around behind the column to hit a switch to turn the uh, motor on and off or direction. Again, the uh, case is simply two pieces of angler and I think this was three by five by a quarter. I got it from a scrap yard. The gears are uh, Briggs and Stratton lawnmower gears and I put two of them together to make a wider gear. I simply epoxy them onto a, a piece of uh, copper or a bushing and <clears throat> they seem to work better than the uh, Lovejoy connections or metal gears that are available online. I also um, Second project was a table drive uh, for the uh, axis, and I uh, needed a faster RPM, so I was able to use these same gears with a different bushing, and I picked up some uh, bearings with uh, one side collar that uh, allow faster rotation. But the, uh, the slow speed on the Z drive didn't require any bearings. So this has worked quite well. I've posted uh, the components that are available online and I also stuck a couple of the construction videos that I was working with this fellow in uh, making it.